What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here, and on today's edition of Gear God's Quality Control, we're going to be taking a look at the Ibanez RGD IX7 MPB. give you a couple examples of what the guitar sounds like by itself and then I'll give you sort of my thoughts on the guitar afterwards. The RGD series has been Ibanez's long scale guitar for quite a while now. They've had several different models, uh, both uh, a pair of prestige models and some of the sort of middle of the road 
uh, ones. This is the first Iron Label series RGD. And obviously you can tell right off the bat it's extremely unique. It's got a lot of cool features. It's got a 26 and a half inch scale as do all RGDs. It's got these, uh, these bevels um, and what are called uh, crystal cut horns which basically means that they have bevels. Definitely one of my favorite color schemes for an Ibanez ever. Uh, the striking contrast of the blue and green against the natural ash of the rest of the body is really cool. like that a lot. The, the top is burled poplar with a, what's called a surreal blue burst, which actually I think has a little bit more green in it than blue, but I've never seen something so egregiously targeted towards gent kids in my whole life. I'm okay with it. I don't mind. It's fine. I think it looks great. It's got a hardtail bridge. It's a Gibraltar 2.7 standard. We've got some DiMarzio uh, pickups here that are exclusively for the Iron Label series. And uh, a single tone knob, single volume knob actually, no tone knob. Three-way switch, locking Goto tuners, and not a whole lot else really. It's a bolt-on neck with a um, with a Babinga stripe here. Um, it feels like probably completely unfinished, I think. Uh, very finely sanded and comfortable, like most RG style guitars. A nice thin neck with a flat spot on the back. That's kind of my favorite thing. Um, a nice flat place to put your thumb. Unlike the other Iron Label series guitar that I played, it didn't immediately play the way that I wanted to. It took a little bit of finagling the the truss rod and the action to get it where I wanted, but I did eventually dial it in to where it plays really well. Uh, the action is where I want it now, so it wasn't a matter of like the construction of the guitar, just needed a little setup right out of the box, which is not unusual um, for an Indonesian-made guitar. Great for the price, uh, I think this comes in at around a thousand bucks. It's pretty much got all the features on paper that I like in a guitar. While it's not completely unheard of for Ibanez to use swamp ash in their guitar bodies, it's definitely a rarity, and I really like seeing them move away from the sort of blander basswood bodies that they've used in the RGs for the longest time. Uh, there's a, a couple in the newer lineup that have a, an ash body, and it's got a lot of advantages over basswood, and I think they're doing the making the right move in that in that direction. I'm also really enjoying the inclusion of a maple fretboard. The uh, rosewood thing, um, also a sort of a staple of the RG series in general, and uh, the classier, snappier maple fretboard is really a lot more up my alley, personally. I really think this guitar would have looked a little weird with a rosewood or an ebony fretboard anyways, so that's the right decision aesthetically as well. So, obviously that's totally a preferential thing. A lot of people like rosewood. I'm not shitting on your parade, I have a lot of rosewood guitars. So I hope they put a lot more maple fretboards on their guitars. Just like the last Iron Label series guitar I reviewed, I think it's a great bang for your buck, I think it's a fantastic value for this guitar. It's not cheap cheap, but you're definitely getting um, all the features that you're paying for, unlike a lot of sort of middle of the road production guitars that I've played recently. I think that Ibanez in general has made a lot of improvements this year. They were in a, what I would describe as a little bit of a slump kind of recently and with these new Iron Label guitars I think they're really turning it around and uh, actually with a lot of the prestige models that I've seen and played um, are kind of blowing me away too. So Ibanez is making all the right decisions in 2016 so I hope they continue this trend. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more reviews and original content.